Hello YouTube, this is Ambi again, and now I have something for you on PowerShell. Let's see what are we going to talk about today. Uh, we are going to talk about... Hmm, what shall we talk about? Let's talk about filtering. Uh, or most of the times whenever you're dealing with scripting and automation, you will have a lot of data and you want to select the data and you want to manipulate it. You want to filter it. Uh, well, before you start manipulating or altering it, uh, setting something, getting something, you want to filter it out, right? That is one of the most uh, important thing that you do, especially when you, if you're into analysis or um, uh, someone who does QA uh, and someone who, um, well, even better option, even better way to say, okay, let's say that you got like, you have 10 guys and you want to know uh, you want to filter out only the people who are of a certain height. You are selecting for army and you want uh, guys or girl, gals who are 5.5 uh, 5 and above, right? And then you do the filtering, right? In real world, the same way that we're going to do here. Let's start with, okay, filtering. Oops. And uh, this is ambig1. Subscribe now. <laughs> All right, and we have today PowerShell. Ah, oh, God. PowerShell 5 filtering. What do we have here? Let's say we will do get process F5. And now I have all these. But I don't want to, uh, I want to know just, uh, let's say, Oh, let's say I want to get FL format table. Uh, I get like this. Uh, sorry, format list. I get like this. Okay, then if I do FT anyway, I get it like this. And I here want to know, I uh, want to list out those um, handles which are owned by Microsoft, uh, even though it's not listing here, if you want to know all the members here, you can just say get member, maybe, let me see what happens. Oh, get member, oh, what did I do? Okay, so these are the things which are there for get process. So these are the things that you can select, handles, name, and all that stuff, right? So let's see, name, name, process name, dispose, dispose. What do we wanna do? We wanna select company, right? Uh, do we have company there? Okay, I don't wanna list. Let's say select company maybe. Do we have it there? No, oh, it's not there. Okay, I thought we had it. CP, okay, we have company here. So uh, what I want to do is I want to select just the company. So I will do select company F5. Okay, so it's listing out all the Microsoft stuff because right now I got only Microsoft stuff here and some Oracle stuff. So let's say I want to list um, those which uh, are from Oracle, not Microsoft. I'm interested in the stuff that is there in here from Microsoft. So, how should I do it? Select company, and then should I say select article? Is that how should I do it? No, that doesn't work. So, what we will do? Okay, uh, the vertical line that you see here, that's called pipe. That's there in every uh, scripting or automation programming language. Uh, I'm so, uh, sorry, mainly in scripting language. It's called pipe or piping. This particular thing which I'm doing, uh, this is called pipe, the vertical pipe. Imagine it as a vertical pipe line. Uh, it's called piping because I'm using this piping thing, the vertical line, to filter stuff out. So select article didn't work, select company. So what we want to do is where company hyphen match article, right? You see that now? So now it's listing just the Oracle stuff, right? So let me do this so that you can see ID handles and all, all that stuff, right? Now what we wanna do is I wanna do, is there any other way? 
let me do this i can do this way okay first let me close the bracket uh where none just go hyphen match mm, article oops f5 it's not listing anything then what is this ah okay let me see is that what i should do company is not there what is happening so is it not going to work well this is not how you use it you say dot and uh, then say company i can match oracle right so now it lists the same thing but i always find uh the lat uh the you know the first method which i used uh as you know something which is short first one we used was get process sorry sorry process select company or uh, sorry where company hyphen match article i mean this gives the same result uh this where stuff that you see here uh, i mean here uh, seeing the one above that is this one right that is useful in other scenarios where you want to put a lot more things where you can say company match article and then you can say hyphen and that you can put one more condition and say something else right so what you're putting here when whatever that you put inside this more stitch bracket or curly braces is a script actually you are running a script so instead you can go like this but what if what if you don't want to see that heading you just want to see the data i don't want to see this handles and all that stuff okay let's see i want to see just the handles and i'm just for the sake of this select handles what happens right but i don't want to see that uh heading the header i just want to see the data so what you can do is right so i would uh, oh this is a nice way of doing it i'll show you how i do it i will first share this in some handles equals something uh just say article article right and then what i will do is article dot handle f5 that is how you filter it now let's say you want to again uh list uh where um dollar sign underscore hyphen match uh four five nine six let's see whether it works no it doesn't because here whenever you give that you gotta give something and there's nothing to give right so this is the bottommost pet for this oopr object uh this particular object there is no child object below this so you can't use a dollar sign underscore dot something uh, this is the basic filtering there's a lot more that uh, you can do uh, there's a lot more things that you can do with it but for now this is more than enough for a beginner like you and me till the next lesson thank you take care subscribe now have a great day bye